and there's no shortage of color in Kimberly Selden's segment today. It was inspired by the Mindy Project. Coming. Hello, my love. Welcome back to paradise. Oh, God, it's like great gardens in here. Okay. I'll be smothered by a collapsing tower of tchotchkes. Okay, that's very dramatic, and you don't have to complain so much. My apartment is not that different than yours, Danny. You have your piano. I have a children's xylophone. Okay, I'm going to take some inspiration from this space and, and show folks how they can have a similar space. I like the way you did it. <laughs> like a lot. I like the way you did it a lot. You, you know what? It's like when you really abandon yourself and have fun with whatever your personality is, the results can be so cool, right? I think and that's so. that's what that's all about. She's eccentric, she's yes. self-centered. So you know <laughs> right away she didn't ask anybody, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? She just picked things that she loved. Yeah. And then so I got to do that, which was super fun at home sense. Nice. You know, imagine walking through with three, four carts <laughs> and grabbing everything that was kind of wild and eccentric, starting right. with this beautiful chair. So this is a Louis the sixteenth style chair, mm -hmm. kind of a serious pedigree in terms of its style, but it's got this Florida fern fabric on it. Which is, I like it. Which makes it so funky yeah. and so fun. And you really, when you're going to do this, one thing for sure, you can't have to do it. Right. Go all the way. You went all the way. Like, went there's not one thing that matches all here. All the <laughs> way. And somehow it works. And somehow it works. And not only does it work, it feels like a party. It does. It just feels like a party. So we've got uh, pieces of furniture, for example, those little console tables, got the cutout mirror pattern showing through, turquoise boxes on top. Of course, Mindy is self absorbed, so she loves her initials. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, if you've got pictures of you around the house and lots of initials of you around the house, you're this is going to appeal to you for sure. Bright yellow chair, mm -hmm. which, you know, by the way, I know not all of us are going to go crazy wild like this, but if you have a super neutral living room and you tuck this bright yellow chair in there, it's going to be awesome. It's a conversation point all of a sudden, and it shows that you can have some personality and some fun in your space. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. And speaking of personality and fun, mm. the pillows. These ones. I mean, white pillows, pattern Love pillows, it. furry pillows, polka dot pillows, e cat yep. pillows, lots and lots of pillows, all on this very super serious tuxedo sofa. Mm -hmm. So when you hear the term tuxedo sofa, it has to do with the arm. The arm is as high oh, as the back. It's one continuous element. So got she's it. got a tuxedo sofa in her apartment. It's really long, this sofa. That fits a lot of people. It's a party sofa, isn't That's it? A party yeah, sofa. you can see three, four, five friends on this sofa. Mm -hmm. Good time. Yeah. Good times ahead. Major yeah. good times. So you talk about the serious sofa. There's a serious wall here, too. Beautiful. In this case, she's so got lovely. this great apartment that's got great bones, and yet yes. she hasn't played to that classical, safe, neutral side of it. She's yeah. just abandoned it, mm -hmm. right down to the artwork, the light fixtures, the crazy, like, floor lamps, and the table lamp I have over here with the with the tulip bulb base that's going on. Yes. Um, again, on the pillows, another kind of nod to Florida, that retention hand chair I love has that this. Florida feeling with the bright pink uh, pillows and then the flower on the front. This is like the watercolor we were just speaking about. You know, I thought, right? isn't that funny? Of course, the day that I decide to go crazy with color, Tiffany is here. So it's <laughs> almost like it's a continuation of one segment to the other. That's right. But I think the important thing is that everybody just feels that they have the opportunity to put a lot more personality into their house than they think they do. Right. And sometimes I'm guilty of being very focused on the design lesson mm -hmm. and giving people People, the principles yeah. and the bottom line is once you get the bones and the function right you can have a little fun with the decorating side which is like everything else in life. You get the rules, then you throw out the rule book. Exactly. Right? So you, you basically have a sense of how things should flow, and then get rid of all of that, yep. put yourself in your space, yep. and then and then think a little bit about what's not working. Yep. Right? That's the way it's supposed to work. So this is funny. So we came today, again from home, since this beautiful navy blue ottoman, which is a very serious piece of Lovely. furniture. I tucked all kinds of fun stuff on top of it, and I noticed in Tiffany's set she had this gold coffee table. Yes, yeah, so you and stole the it. shoes. So I stole it. <laughs> So the fun thing about this style is you can keep adding stuff. Yeah, why not? 
not. Where if you're super disciplined and you have contemporary, modern, clean, yeah. you don't get to add very much. No. And what you add better be exactly right. Where with yeah. this, you can just kind of one more thing. I brought the shoes in because you were trying them on. You said they didn't fit. I mean, I have size 11 bog stompers, so they're not going to fit. And every single time we style a photo shoot for a magazine or whatever, you see shoes like that. Mm -hmm. Every time you see one of my interiors, they're not my shoes. <laughs> right? Because my shoes look you like... You don't put your size 11s out there. No, they there. look like skis. They don't, they don't look like... But I dream of being the person who could wear those shoes. Right. And then one of my favorite things uh, in the show, she's got her xylophone. Yeah. You know, she says in the clip that you're her, her boyfriend's got... Right. And I've got the xylophone. This is such a fun thing to have on your coffee table. That's because true. every single person who comes in your house will pick it up and play with it. And people you think are super serious and all buttoned up, yeah. give them tequila and a xylophone. <laughs> it's a party. It's a party. Yeah, it's a party. House and you see this, yeah. you are at instant ease. Yes, thank you. You know, you feel like you can actually sit normally on the sofa and let it out a little bit, you know, maybe under your belt after that dinner. Like, this space allows you to be a little bit more casual yeah. and a little bit more free, and that's what I like about it. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the Mindy space, yeah, the Mindy project space, and just see the difference between them, uh, because there's a lot going on in that room. Oh, you did a very good job, Kimberly. It was actually yeah. really fun and really easy to do and nice. very affordable. That's the and other very thing. Very affordable. Very affordable. Still buy good big pieces, your sofas and chairs, but Always. have fun with the decorating and accessorizing and go a little crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, the Mini Project airs Thursdays on City. Thank you very Love much it. for your Thanks, interpretation.